10 Control Center shortcuts that you should add right now. To open Control Center, pull one finger down on the top right of your screen. Here's how to change the settings we're going to talk about. Go to Settings, and then Control Center. Number one, music recognition. If you want to easily find out the name of a song that's playing around you or on a video you're watching, add the music recognition toggle. Now when you tap on it, it'll find the song you're hearing in seconds. Number two, flashlight. You can use your iPhone's flash as a flashlight in a pinch. Tap on the flashlight icon to turn it on or off, or press and hold to change the intensity. Number three, low power mode. If you're running out of battery, but you need to ensure that you still have enough juice to call in an emergency, add low power mode. Once you tap on this, your iPhone's battery life will be extended. This will turn off almost all running tasks in the background to save you some juice. Number four, camera. If you want to open the camera quickly, add the camera toggle. Tap on it to open the camera, or press and hold for some quick shortcuts. Number five, calculator. We've all been there. We need a calculator fast. Add the calculator toggle, and now you have one. Number six, Apple TV remote controls. If you have an Apple TV and tend to lose your remote often, adding the TV toggle is super convenient because not only does it turn your iPhone into a remote, but you can use your iPhone's keyboard to type instead of scrolling one by one. Number seven, Code Scanner. Your iPhone can scan QR codes and other codes using your camera, but typically it requires you to hover over the QR code and then tap a little box with the website. If you add Scanner to Control Center, it'll bring up a scanner tool that's easier to use just for this purpose. Number eight, Guided Access. If you're gonna hand your phone to a child or someone else you don't want snooping around, Guided Access can lock the phone in a specific app that you choose. Tap on the lock icon inside the square. Enable Guided Access, and now head to the app you want to lock the phone in. Once you're there, swipe down from the top right, tap on the lock again, and this gives you even more options. If you just want to lock the phone here, tap on Start at the top right, but you can also circle areas on the screen that you'd like to disable from being touched. Hit Start, enter your passcode, and Guided Access is now available. Notice, if I tap on the area I've grayed out, nothing happens. Additionally, you can't swipe up to go home. If you want to disable this, triple click your power button and enter your passcode. Number nine, text size. If you want an easy way to change text size within an app, add the text size shortcut. This will allow you to change the text size on a per app basis, or you can change the text size on your whole phone. And finally, number 10, quick notes. If you want a quick and easy way to jot down notes, add the quick note toggle. Now when you tap on it, it'll open a quick note right away. Follow for more tips.